Behavior Consulting of Tampa Bay raises funds to help kids with autism and their families. Today, Blair Ortman is back along with Brian Staley, uh, who joined me with wonderful news on the organization's latest fundraising efforts. Good morning. Good, morning. Good to see you both. Thank you for having us. So let's start with you. The last time you and your team were here, we got to kind of announce uh, about uh, the funds that you guys mm -hmm. had just raised, what you were going to be doing. Mm -hmm. Give us an update. Absolutely. So. We launched BCOTB Inc. this year, and that's our nonprofit to raise funds for ABA therapy grants for local Tampa families affected mm -hmm. by autism. Because you saw there was a lot of families Absolutely. falling through the cracks and Absolutely. not being able to get the help they need. Absolutely, and we really wanted to see um, the effects in Tampa Bay. We wanted to really take care of all of our children, our mm -hmm. local children that need this effective therapy. So we set out to raise $6,000 this year. And we've been absolutely blown away by the tremendous support in the Tampa Bay area. We are actually able to give $46,800 worth of grants uh, to local deserving families um, so that they can receive ABA therapy. And not only did we far exceed our projections this year, but we're also able to give grants to children who wouldn't typically receive um, ABA services. So ABA has proven effective for multiple populations and um, multiple exceptionalities, uh, such as autism and Down syndrome. But because of insurance coverage, um, some of those populations don't get needed services. Mm -hmm. And one of our grant recipients actually has a dual exceptionality of autism and Down syndrome. So we're really able to uh, affect all of our local children and make sure that they're getting effective teaching practices. And we couldn't be more blessed and excited. Yes. Well, and now let's meet one of the local families who's benefiting from these. You just got the news literally days ago that you and your family are going to be one of the recipients of this big old check here. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about your family, and uh, I know you have a, an almost three-year-old daughter, correct? Right. Uh, Jessica, she'll be three on Christmas Eve, December 24th, and we have a nine-year-old son, Ryan, who will be 10 in January. So you found out your daughter was diagnosed, which I think is pretty interesting because as we were saying with autism, it's so key for what I'm, uh, mm -hmm. what I'm learning you know, from you and your team. If we can find out early, which is what you did, and then get the help needed early, this could be a game changer. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, she was just diagnosed October 6th and they recommended ABA therapy, but we found it was, it was, it was difficult to, to find uh, insurance coverage and um, to be able to pay for it. We didn't know how we were going to pay for it. So you get this news last week that week you ago. don't have to really worry about that mm -hmm. now for mm -hmm. the new year. Right. Tell me, if you can, without tearing up, yeah. we've already been tearing up before <laughs> the segment started, but what does this mean for you and, and your family? Yeah, my wife and I and my son, you know, it just means everything. We didn't know where to turn. We didn't know who to, to mm -hmm. get therapy, how to get the therapy. We just thought, well, maybe we we'll just won't be able to get what she needs. And it, it was... Um, it was upsetting, you know, because you, mm -hmm. you, you want to do everything you can to help her, but so it means everything. You know, her birthday's coming up and Christmas, so it's very, very exciting, very thankful, yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, you have me tearing up. Yeah. All right, <laughs> so to see this, this is what this was intended for. Mm -hmm. This Absolutely. has got to make you feel so good and excited about the future. Absolutely. And for families here, how can other people get involved? How can we hear more of these wonderful stories? What can we do? Absolutely. Well, next year we will be, uh, you know, doing another fundraising campaign. Mm -hmm. We're also looking at community events like a 5K in the mm -hmm. fall. Uh, but, you know, that's December right now, and it's your last chance to make those uh, tax-deductible charitable donations. Mm -hmm. So definitely visit our website at bcotb.org. And um, we hope to be able to maybe double the sum next year and give out a lot of grants. I have no doubts. I mean, this is what was done in the first year. Right. I'm so excited to see what is to come. I wish you and your family and certainly your daughter all the best. Thank you. And uh, wow, what an amazing story. We Hopefully we can check back in and see how things are going. Yeah. So thank you for all that you do here in the community. And again, thank make you. sure you uh, go online, see what you can do to help as well. We'll be in touch soon, okay? Thank you.